Don't waste time and money until you know what the core customer wants and what matters and they'll buy for a profit. Building a sustainable, profitable company is hard work, but you don't have to do it alone. In this BC Tech How-To series, we talk to some of BC's most knowledgeable entrepreneurs about the three pillars of the BC Tech strategy, talent, capital, and markets. Stay tuned for great tips about how to start, scale, and grow your company. So identifying the right first customer is tricky because ultimately that first customer is your partner. They're taking a risk on your technology, product, service, whatever it is you're offering. You're devoting all of your team, money, and resources into making sure that customer can successfully adopt what it is that you're doing. And if that first customer really aligns with where you want to take the business, it's in your, the right market space, it's in the, with the right type of people, the culture fits the same, you can build relationships with them, all of the follow-on customers that you attract will be more profitable and easier to, to bring on as clients. Most companies, uh, what happens is, you know, I've got this great idea and I'm gonna go sell it to the world. That's called market push. And that means that you're trying to convince people that your idea is the greatest thing. That's very, very hard because ultimately it has to flip on its head and turn into market pull where people want it. So a first customer is a real test case. Um, the way I uh, coach people in beginning their company is to use something called a minimum viable product. You don't try and build all the fancy features to begin with. You just build the core thing that they need. That's all you do. And then when you talk to your customer and they're very happy with that, ask them what else they need. Ask, them, ask a few other companies that are similar what else they need. And nine times out of ten, you'll find out, wow, if we did that thing, that would be good. So then you incrementally add that. And I can guarantee you, it will not be as you originally envisioned. You need to really rely on those early customers as ambassadors, as testimonials, as evangelists, and as people who will help you find the love language of your target audience. What are those top three burning issues that you help solve? Um, what mistakes have you helped them to avoid? How have you made them move faster, cheaper, better? And how can those early customers help you to validate your company to new customers before you do have all of that traction that sort of creates that permanent validation? We identified our core customer right off the bat. We identified the characteristics of that core customer. And everything when we built the product was all around that core customer. We used to have a cutout of our core customer and we brought them to the table as we were doing strategy, like your full cutout with little characteristics and what mattered to them and they were at every planning session we had. So as an entrepreneur you want to build it fast, you just want to solve the problem, but if you can at all just step back, identify the market, identify the size of market, figure out your business model to be profitable and drive cash to your bottom line then build it. For weekly tips, tools, and insights on what you can do to successfully start, scale, and grow your company, hit the subscribe button below.